Why do PFAS matter? Here are six things Peer thinks you should know about PFAS. Peer supports public employees who seek a higher standard of environmental ethics and scientific integrity within their agencies. Peer is working to improve PFAS regulations and is working with whistleblowers to expose the presence of PFAS in biosolids, pesticides, artificial turf, food, and firefighting gear. PER and polyfluoroalkyl substances are a largely unregulated group of toxic human-made chemicals known as PFAS. Their carbon-fluorine bond is nearly indestructible, giving them the nickname Forever Chemicals. PFAS are used in hundreds of consumer products, including non-stick coatings, textiles, food packaging, firefighting foams and gear, pesticides, carpets, artificial turf, furniture, car seats, outdoor gear, cosmetics, and many more that we use every day. PFAS can travel vast distances in air and water, and they do not break down in the environment. Scientists have found PFAS in areas as remote as the Arctic Circle. So how are we exposed? Humans and wildlife are exposed to PFAS through contaminated water, food, air, and through their skin. PFAS bioaccumulate and are linked to a variety of ailments, including suppressed immune function, thyroid disease, testicular and kidney disease, cancers, liver damage, and complications for pregnant women, like gestational diabetes and preeclampsia. Without federal regulations in place, PFAS have flooded the consumer market, infiltrated countless industries, and according to studies, are present in the blood of nearly all Americans. Our work with PFAS has just begun. Head to peer.org to learn more on how we're working to keep PFAS out of food, water, and you.